Salcedo Auctions proudly announces its next auction of important Philippine art on Saturday, the 8th of March at 2 p.m. This sale presents the true picture of the Philippine art market, bringing together serious collectors who rely on Salcedo's scholarship and unmatched reputation in finding only the finest and rarest works by old and modern Philippine masters. Including this recently discovered scrapbook of national artist H.R. Ocampo containing over 20 original artworks from the 1940s. Confidence and trust are synonymous with Salcedo Auctions. So when it came time to organizing the annual auction of works donated by some of the country's leading visual artists to fundraise for its fellowships program, the Asian Cultural Council Philippines Foundation found a natural partner in the country's only auction house. Established 50 years ago by John D. Rockefeller III, the Asian Cultural Council Fellowships provide selected Filipino arts practitioners with the opportunity to deepen their knowledge and develop their practice through international exposure. One of the artists who took part in the ACC was Jose Hoya, who is represented in this auction by works from different periods in his career. The changing, interrelated styles of the post-war modernists is evident in the work of artists such as Ang Kyu Kok, whose early, semi-figurative painting takes inspiration from the work of Fernando Sobel, who later went on to become an influential figure in international abstraction. The cubism of Ang's later works bear the hallmarks of his mentor Vicente Manansala, represented here by a 1946 landscape in oil, as well as this stunning 1965 watercolor and a 1974 oil and pastel. Two other vanguards of Philippine art in this sale showcased their graphic roots in career-defining themes. Malang, who began as a cartoonist and became a master of the folk genre, and Ben Cab, whose characters in the Scavenger series would later transform into his most enduring and endearing leitmotif, Sabel. Artistic influence is best seen in the figurative expressionism of Onib Olmedo, an abiding distortion echoing personal and societal unease which is also seen in the paintings of Elmer Borlongan. Socially involved pictures that masterfully present the complexity of Philippine social and political history include Santiago Bosse's Mambo Manila. Inspired by the campaign ditty, Mambo Magsaysay, the work shows Filipino comedian Bayani Casimiro breaking into a jig, holding a Philippine flag on each hand, one aloft, one to the floor, a commentary on split allegiances, and serving the lords by Alfredo Esquilio, which tackles religion and its place in modern society in the typically jocular manner with which Filipinos respond to serious issues. Another important contemporary work is this oil on canvas and graphite collage by Ronald Ventura, the second of only four self-portraits done by the artist, depicting himself as a nude figure serving his severed head on a platter one gets the impression that the artist is laying his essence bare, surrounded by objet trouvé and finely detailed sketches recording various events in his life. John Santo seeks to capture the ineffable essence and permeability of time through this masterful trompe l'oeil, whose enigmatic quality stems from the juxtaposition of seemingly disparate objects. Linking past and present, an air of studied defiance can be seen in the works of Jigger Cruz, who defaces a gilt-framed canvas similar to the Versailles paintings of Fragonard and Vigée Lebrun, using thick pipings of paint in a riot of colors. The revolutionary allusion of this work, 
which seeks to establish a new order in Philippine art, is not lost upon his admirers. The perfect picture that embodies the rich vibrancy and diversity of Philippine art and a fitting tribute to all those who have brought it to where it is today. Preview is ongoing at our three Salcedo Play sale room starting the 20th of February. The online catalog is available at salcedoauctions.com.